Hello, hello, Dream Pilot, back with another review video, although this is more of a re-review of the American Airlines Boeing 777-200 from the early 2000s. American Airlines models have been like very common for Dreamliner jets. So here we have the American Airlines old livery chrome Boeing 777-200. And uh, so here we have the registered type of plane, Boeing 777-223, registration number, November 777, Alpha November, Rolls-Royce, Trent 895, engines, powder thing, and it was delivered to American Airlines in 1999. And I'm pretty sure it's still flying. So here we have the inf uh, length, wingspan, height, empty weight, speed is 575 miles. The box says the range is 4,660 miles. I think it's a bit more than that. I think it's a bit more uh, close to a range of 5,000 miles. But the seating is 735 in typical mixed class and 440 in high density. However, I think this is a, actually an ER because all American Airlines operated. So this plane would fly over 7,000 miles. I don't remember the precise number. Anyway. So... Here we have the nose with some windshield wiper details. You can't see them as well because of the grey and silver colour scheme. Got the um, L1 boarding door, American Airlines old livery, the round, more round windows, L2 boarding door. This is a 777-200, so no overwing exits. The big Rolls-Royce engine. Then we have the outline for the fuel tank as well as the wing tip lights. We got the L3 door, L4 door, registration would be under there, and then we have the American Airlines livery on the tail, American flag, and the APU cone. Here we have the rest of the plane. Um, it's pretty much the same. We've got the R1 boarding door, American livery, cargo door instead, R2 door, no overwing exit. We've got the little gaps here, as usual. Rolls-Royce engines, fuel tank outline, wingtip lights, R3 door, cargo door, R4 door, um, some paint splatter, I don't know how the hell I'm going to fix that, and American Airlines. I promise you, the model was like this when I bought it. Okay. We've got landing gear door detail, which is very uncommon, but the landing gear door doors are on in grey. We also have the nose cone in grey. Then we have the Gemini Jets logo, some line details under the wings, and we have the three the six wheel buggies. We have some minor, I had to do some minor repairs because of the dent. And no APU door, but the APU is there, and now we have the registration. Good old nice. I hope I don't get a lawsuit for what I'm trying now. I'm trying to do a little bit of a background music thing now for future videos. But so I hope you like that. And honestly, I've had this model for a while. It's a very nice model. I prefer this one over the ones that we are currently getting because it doesn't have the rolling wheels. I don't like the models that much with the rolling wheels, but I will buy them if they're decent models. Anyway, I hope you like this review. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, Dream Pilot out.